been a while since I did a landscape for you, and I'm here at Ranella Pass Scenic Byway. Um, this isn't really far from the road. I didn't have to hike very far to get here. I'm going to paint uh, this beautiful river scene behind me with the rocks and the trees that are changing color, and hopefully uh, pull out a decent demo for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy it. I suppose I should put out some paint, huh? I'm gonna put out some transparent oxide brown. Maybe skip the transparent oxide red for today and put out uh, Chinese orange, some ivory black. And normally I would have uh, Michael Harding warm light yellow, but today I have pale ochre from Sennelier, which is very similar, and some warm white. Just to capture that midday uh, radiance and then I've got cadmium yellow light hue from Sennelier. I'll put out some amethyst too. I don't know how much of this I'm going to use but you never know. It's, uh, it's great as a complementary color for those oranges and yellows and some ultramarine blue. Normally I use a linen canvas but today I'm using um, one of these panels from Artifacts I forget what it's called, but it's um, it's primed like with a roller, so it's pretty smooth. And I gotta put out one more color here. I'm gonna put out my cadmium red light. And I'm starting this today, kind of in the middle of the day. It's almost noon now, uh, so not my ideal time. But one of the benefits of working at this time of day is that the light doesn't change quite as drastically. And so I'm hoping it'll stay fairly consistent for me as I go. So I'm just gonna dive in. I've got my Gamsol here. I'm gonna start with drawing in my design with my transparent oxide brown. There's a lot of contrast, a lot of contrast in this scene. And so it's gonna be up to me to figure out where to direct the eye with some of these uh, really bright brights and dark darks. I'm sort of just feeling it out right now. Landscapes can be so overwhelming and sometimes it's hard to know where to start. But right now I'm kind of grabbing onto that real dark, dark, um, and the blazing white rock in front of it, and seeing where that's going to fit in my composition. And it might actually help to just throw in a wash, real thinly, just for where things are going to be in the shadow. Maybe not even worry about those shapes in the shadows quite yet. But what I want to make sure I'm doing is leaving some of the white of the canvas for the real light whites in the water. While also uh, throwing in some different colors in my wash. For these rocks that are showing through. Okay, so I've got some of these shadows of the rocks. I've got this big dark right here I think will help draw the eye back into the design so that 
we're not just leaving the design um, visually, but coming back into it.